Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Sit in any comfortable posture. Adopt your mudra, both hands. May close your whole body. Relax your facial muscles. Let your breathing be normal. Now, start with the okara to start the session. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Join your palm for prayer. Vasatoma Satkamaya Tamasoma Yoti Kamaya Rutyoma Amritati Kamaya Both hands by the side of your knee. Inhale, straighten your elbow. Exhale, push your chin front. Drop your head. Draw elbows inside. Straighten your elbows. Inhale. Arch your back. Exhaling. Push your chin front. Again, inhale and stretch up. Straighten your elbows. Exhale. Inhale. Go. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Slowly come up. Here, perfect. To the set. To an angle. Right knee front. Finger sending in one leg. Lock your foot. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale. Inhale, keep up. Straighten your elbow. Exhale. Breathe in. Come up. Breathe out. Finally, slowly, come up. 
know, separate the means and the lot for the head. Slowly come up to standing posture. Head practice, standing breathing practice, head stretch breathing, join your foot, drop your shoulders. Breathing. 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 Stretch. Breathing. Synchronize your hand movement. If you are breathing, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. This is horizontal stretch. Inhale. Empty degree. Exhale. Now, 135 degree of the stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Each time, drop your shoulders. Again, inhale, stretch. This is oblique stretch, 135 degree. Exhale. Inhaling, stretch. Exhale. This is forehead level. Last time, inhale, stretch. Exhale, bring back your hands, reach and drop your shoulders. Finally, 180 degree. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale. Again, inhale, stretch up. Stretch your forehead. Go, go, bring back your hands, drop your shoulders. Again, stretch. Exhale. Inhale. Open up your shoulder blades. Stretch up. Exhale. Inhale. Now. Last time. 180 degree vertical stretch. Exhale. Now, as usual, let's go for loosening practices. First, forward backward bending. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Swing your hands. Each time, swing your head. Do not bend like the knee or elbow. Synchronize your hand movement with your breathing. Inhale up. Exhale. Last time. Now, side bending. Separate your legs. Who should be? Parallel to each other, bend sideways. Do not bend forward or backward. Bend laterally. Loosening practice is a must before starting the postures, yoga postures or asanas. It makes your body flexible early in the morning. It works on your spine. Next, bending, twisting, back, inhale, come up, exhale, bend, twist, come back, come up. And shoulder level, bend, 
Fist, come back, come up, bend, fist, inhale, come up, exhale, bend, fist, again, inhale, come up, exhale, look up each time, concentrate on your waist. Last time, look up, come up, inhale in, exhale in, then other side, come back, come up. Now, alternate toe touching. Try to put your hand outside your foot, and then look up each time. Now, slowly come up. Now, hands shoulder level. Without bending your hands, try to twist, full twist. You can exhale, exhale. Don't bend into your elbow. Concentrate on your waist. Now, opposite wrist. Again, hand shoulder level. Lift your knee up. It's a very good twist around your waist. Now, Stop the practice. Relax for a while. Today, let's practice sit ups. Try your foot. Those who can't do sit up, please practice slow jogging. Now, try to catch your ear drops without raising your heels. Exhale. Sit down, inhale, come up, exhale, inhale, exhale. You can have a acupuncture point, inhale up, exhale. Come up, inhale, sit back, exhale. Last time. Now you can try sitting, crossing your legs. Sit down fully. Press the outer edge of the feet and then come up. Your legs should be crossed. Try to balance with your hands. Sit down fully. Come up. Again. Sit down. Last time. So, very good practices for your entire body. Change your legs. Sit up. Come up. Your legs should be crossed. Come up. Very good to burn the calories. No? Immediately exhale from your mouth, throughout the excess heat produced in your body by loosening your dynamic practices. Forceful exhalation from your mouth, when seen, Mukha Dhoti, Sit and relax. Sit 
This is Shithila Dildasana. Sitting relaxing practice. Support your middle back with your elbows. Your neck can be like this. Right, left, front, or back. See, today let's practice variations of Hanumanasana. Just follow the instructions properly and then don't take any risk. Don't hurt your body. Visit your body. And then try to do as much as you can. For that, first you have to come to Vajrasana. Style out your knees. Stretch back, right leg forward, point your hip, straight, let's do Kriya, begin, bend from your waist, exhale, begin, stretch up, exhale, begin, exhale. This is what we are doing is Kriya. Again, sucking your abdomen, exhaling, bend, flow, stay back. You can see from here. Right, this is forward bending. Try not to bend your knee. So, bring back your leg, sit back, Kivajrasana. All Hanumanasana postures are very powerful, very good for your thighs and good for your entire body. Just to try doing it. Now again, stand up on my knees. Left leg right now. Toes should be pointing towards you. Try to put your knee. The balancing is very important here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Stretch up. Push your chin forward. Learn the bending pattern. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Try to put your chin on the knee or beyond the knee. Stay there. Feel the very good stretch in your calf muscles and hamstring muscles. Very powerful forward bending posture. One of the variations of Hanuman Asana. Slow, slowly. Bring back your leg. You are not allowed to. Take any risk while practicing any asana. Relax now. So now let's practice twisting. Come on. Put your leg like this. Push, move, lock, twist. Try to join your calf muscles and hamstring muscles. Your elbow should look up. Press. Push your knee front. Turn your face and look up. This is twisting in Hanuman Asana variation. Now opposite knee and elbow. Look up. Slowly come back, sit back in Vajrasana and relax for the head. In between two practices, you need to relax for a few seconds. 
Now let's practice it with the leg. Like this, push your knee. And then lock opposite knee and elbow. Maximum twisting should be there. Keep on pushing your knee front. The elbow should look up. Very good twisting posture. Push your knee front. Try to join your calf muscles and hamstring muscles. Turn your face. Final posture. Try to maintain with normal breathing. This it should be difficult to maintain with normal breathing. You just observe your breathing at the now. Slowly release your hand. Bring back your leg. Relax. Now let's practice back bending. Just push, lift your hand up, bend back. Again, try to join calf muscles and hamstring muscles. Bend. Straighten your elbows as much as you can. Try to see very good pressure in your inner thigh. Come back. Do it on the side. See, your body should be in one way. Then bend. Very good posture to strengthen your leg. Very good for your back. You can feel the compression in your lower back. Slowly come back. Keep working. It's asana. We did forward bending. Back bending. Twisting. Now let's practice Karma Vasana for that. First, your leg like this. Try to both hands by the side of your body or leg. Now keep on sliding the front leg. If possible, can sit down. Otherwise, please be distant. Do not remove your hand. Do not take any risk. Don't do this. Don't lift your hand. Stop. Can you even bring forward? Stay back. This is Hanuman Rasana, popularly known as split. Now, slowly bring back your leg. Back. You do not lift your hands in the Hanuman Asana. No try to think. So wherever you are, you stay there. If you are here, stay there. Feel the stretch. You can continue further. Just try that. Lift your head up. So, bend forward. Stay there. Slowly bring back your leg. Sit back. Works on your thighs. Anumana Asana is a very good posture for ladies. But you should not take any risk. Just to try as much as you can. Day by day, you can perfect the posture and master the posture also. Now, release your legs from the back. Relax for a few seconds. In Shikila Dandasana. 
See, there are main postures, like Hanumanasana is the main posture. While practicing that, I usually try all the variations, so like forward bending, back bending, twisting in one posture. You can split the posture like that. It will be more helpful and convenient to learn also. To relax your face, you can just do butterfly movement. Relaxes your thighs. You can even try bending forward. The back should be flat. Slowly come up. Release. Relax. Now come to standing posture. Good in this practice, triangular posture or trikonasana. Basic standing posture. Now separate your legs. First, while you start the posture, the foot should be parallel to the floor. So that you can feel a very good stretch back in your hamstring muscle and calf muscles. Now stretch your hand sideways. Turn your right foot out, then left foot in. Take your hand back. Your thumb should be on your middle of the back, on your spine. Then hit back your shoulders, left shoulder, then stretch. Learn the step by step the instructions and then practice it. Stretch. How much as you can, you just stretch your hand. Don't go to the posture. If you can't stretch more, then very gently keep your hand down on your shin bone. Cross your chest, adjust your foot. Then raise your head. Go down, go down, but Bending should be lateral. Do not bend forward. Both legs should be straight. Record asana or triangular posture. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come up with a stretch. Do not give jerk to your body. Slowly release your head. Turn back your foot. Bring your legs nearer. Relax. While relaxing, feel the changes in your body. All postures for yoga itself is very, very beneficial for your psychological health and physical health. Connects your mind, body, and breath. Try to practice yoga regularly. Try to attend the classes. Now, let's do other side. Separate your legs. Take normal height like 5 4, you have to separate 3 feet. If you are taller than that, you can separate 3 quarter or 3 and half. Now, stretch your hands. Now, without turning your waist, turn your foot. Left foot out, right foot in. Now, right hand on your waist. Don't take your shoulder elbow front, take your elbow back. Put your thumb on your spine. Now stretch. Stretch as much as you can stretch. Sideways. Don't bend forward or don't go back. 
Just if you can't stretch more, take your hand on your chin bone, toss your chest, raise your hand up. Then you can adjust your foot, look at your right thumb, go down. Go down, down. You can see the drivers here. Look up. Tikona asana or triangular posture. Strengthens your legs. Very good for your ankle then. Knee joint. The hand should be straight. Both hands should be in one line. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Slowly come up with a stretch. Turn your foot. Release your head. Bring back your legs. Relax. Close your eyes. Feel the changes in your body. Stimulation, compression, relaxation, fatigue, all type of actions on your bones and joints. Then you can feel the tranquility of your mind. So, try to sit in one more posture, join your knees, separate your knees, turn your palm, put your palm on the knees, straighten your head, this is the balancing practice. Concentrate on a particular point. The whole body weight is on your toes now. You come up, just join your knees, slowly come up. So, try to relax your knees. The same sideways, bend and back, straighten, bend, straighten, bend. Relax the swelling joint, now separate your leg, when you put apart, relax your waist, whenever you feel like. Exertion in your knees and waist immediately you need to relax. Now, try to practice Puri Namaskara. For that, start with Puri Namaskara Shloka. Satisya Pitam Mukham Satvam Pushan Papam Satyatarman Jishti Om Ram Mitra Yanama Uttasana Uttarasana एक बात तो प्रसरण आसना, दीपावली प्रसरण आसना, उठो नीचे टाउन, रिलीज़ योर लोग्स, शिशान आसना, कमा, पॉइंट योर टोस टू द ब्रो, स्टार्ट में नमस्कार आसना, नाउ स्लाइड योर बॉडी आ 
Concentrate on your neighbor. Inhale and stop. Exhale, Shishantasana. Inhale, come up. Exhale, start your Muskarasana. Inhale, Uttra Mukhashvanasana. Exhale. Control Mukhashwana Uttara, very powerful posture, and lift your leg also. So, inhale, knee stop, exhale, Shushanga Uttara, inhale, Shushwa Sanchana Uttara. Exhale, Father Vistasana. Inhale, exhale. Now, this practice on that side. Om Hrim Arvi Namaha. Uddhasana. Take a part of the Serena Sana. Do not give that to your body. We found the Serena Sana. Head to heel one leg. For the last Sana. Now, put your knees down. Release your toes. Sit back in. Shishan does move. Come up, point your toes. A strong reverse car as well. So, come up. Put Mukushpana as well. So, tap your knees. Put Mukushpana as well. 
go back to Shashar Pasana. Ashwa Sanchana Pasana. He press your back. Father Pastasana. Which is beneficial for the person who can't do standing. They can try in sitting posture. Here you have a twisting posture also. Let's start. Om Ram Yiranigantha Yanamato. Welcome. Great. Rini. Chatwani. Pancha. Shaka. Sapta. Ashta. Lama. Dasha, Ekadasha, Dravasha. Om Hri Manichai Namaha. Ekam, Dve, 
push your thin print, bring forward, three knee, chatwari, pancha, shatta, sapta, pashta, number, pressure, एक आदित्यारी पंच Close pointing towards you. Shutter, draw your other leg. Sapta, Pashta, Krishna, Nama, try not to separate your knee. Pressure, Ekar Pressure, Draw Pressure. Om Savitri Namaha. Take up. Three. Three. Chatwari. Pancha. Shatta. Sapta. Pashta. Namaha. Dasha, Eka Dasha, Avadish. Here is the practice of this to the next color. उत्तरासन नमस्कार Exit. Om Hrim 
One more variation of Rudrasana for that. Try your legs. Stretch your hands forward. Pin on the floor. Both palms by the side of your chest. Draw both your feet to the Press your lower palm. Don't straighten your elbows. Lift up to your navel. You bend. Breathe gently. Exhale now. Okay. Lift up. Exhale now. Twirls on your knee back. Once again, inhale, lift up. Try to lift your hands down. Look down. Slowly remove. Release your hands. Relax for the day. Now let's practice the complementary posture of Bhujangasana. That is locust posture of Shalabhasana. Make fist of your palms. Take below your thighs. Lift your right leg up. Locust posture. Exhale down. Inhale. Lift your left leg up. Do not feel your body. Exhale down. Again, inhale. Right leg up. Shalabhasana breathing chanting. Do not do it to me. Breathe down. So let's say. Exhale down. Last time, right leg up. Support. Palamba. Shalabhasana. No beginning. Lift your other leg. So lift your other leg. Drop. Support. Slowly release. One by one. Release your hands. Relax back in. 
Pokerracional. No, let's start it. Alternate legs. Plank. It can be the part of the body up. Body should be. Upper body should be parallel to the floor. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Stop the practice. Now turn on your back. Relaxing. Super so posture. Very thinking. My job. Let's move the whole body. Take the balance. Today, let's practice bridge posture for Seiko Bandhasana. This resembles the flyover. First, hold both legs. Lift your waist up. Support with your elbows. Then, stretch your legs forward one by one. This is with posture. You can do the variation. Slowly bring back your legs one by one. Within your waist, do not drop it. Very gently. Take to Bandhasana. Complimentary posture. Follow Mukhasana. Hold both knees. Hold them. Lift your head up. Try to touch your forehead. Touch into the knees. Sit down. Slowly release. Join your foot. Separate the knees. Relax. Then let's practice. Simply. Try to make a bigger now. Alternate legs. Very good practice to tone your abdominal muscles. Try to make a bigger round. Stop the practice. Join your knees. Separate your foot. Relax. Now again, if you can, lift your head up. Reverse. Cycling. Bring your knees towards your chest. Try to make a bigger round.
This is 50 for your upper abdomen, the lower abdomen bone. Stop the practice. Join your foot. Separate your knees. Relax. Supta Kodasana. No tray. Head crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stop the practice. We have done very powerful practices today. You can feel the stimulation in your whole body. Now you need to relax for a while. Before that, relax on the back. Now lift your right leg up. Hold it, hold it, relax for a while. Let close your hands and both. So, very gently, put your left ankle on the right knee. Relax. Very good relaxing practice for the lumbar region as well as your thighs. So slowly, squeeze your legs one by one. So hold the other leg, hold it for a while, relax. Gently lift your right leg, your right ankle on the left knee. Relax. Let loose your whole body. So, so we release your legs one by one. Separate your legs, relaxing Shavasana. See that the whole body is on the same surface. Legs should be comfortable. Observe your abdominal muscle moving. See how they are holding up and sitting down. Now your breathing is normal. Practice deep breathing for five rounds. Deep inhalation. Slow exhalation. With each exhalation, relax your whole body.
This is yogic breathing in supine posture. The inclination should be preferably double the time of the inhalation. Now, take a deep breath in, chant one akara. Chant one akara. Bring your legs together, hands near the body, hold your left leg, slide your right hand above, turn towards your right, one leg on the other. So, slowly come out of Shavasana. Let's practice few pranayama. For that, sit in any comfortable posture of your chance. Do not sit with pain or numbness. We prefer to sit in Padmasana because automatically. The back will be erect in Padmasana. Let's chant it. Nitranayama Shloka, Nitranayama Chilidra. Prana Sedam Vashit Sarva, Vidiveya Pratishitam, Mateva Putra Dakshaspa. Shrishta Pratnaushta Nidhenanti Now, let's start the session with Vastrika. Vastrika is the Kriya. It is the preparatory practice for Pranayamas. This is in the Pitsi. Do not enter. Complete inhalation, complete exhalation. Drop the practice. Close your eyes. We need to drop. We create. Speak up. And your mind, body, and breath. For a few seconds, you do not feel like you are moving or exhaling. That is the Situation of temporary cessation of breath or Kevana Pumbaka. Now, let's resume the pranayama with Brahma Mudra. Deep inhalation. No, it's 
circulation. Deep inhalation. Supply more and more oxygen. How this is. Each exhalation. Drop. Regular on the world drop. Drop soon. Relax the facial muscles. First thing. Next, let's practice. Muloma Viloma Pranayama or Nagi Shuddhi Pranayama, the alternative of keep breathing. For that, left hand chin mudra, right hand, classical mudra, hold these two fingers, and then Close your right nostril with the thumb. Start the practice with exhalation from the left. Inhale through that. Exhale through the right. Inhale from the right. Exhale from the left. Inhale from the left. Exhale from the right. Inhale from the right. Exhale from the left. Try to practice as far as possible. Continue for two more rounds. Artery posture breathing. Nadi Shodhana Pranayama. There are 72,000 channels or Nadi in our body to balance. Nadi for cleanse the channels. Do not constrict your face. Do not sit with pain or numbness. If you want, you can feel the posture. Drop the practice with exhalation. Practice Ramadi on that inhale. So, to come to the upper carriage and exhale, inhale again with the nostrils. Shoulders and elbows. Sitting down the grass. Meditative posture. Concentrate in between your eyebrows. Up your chakra. Chantra Omkara. 
Come up, grab your palm, 